हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट ए नोट जे एस मॉड्यूल विच इज कॉल्ड एज नोट फेच सो बाय द नेम इट सेल्फ इट विल बी यूजफुल फॉर मेकिंग फेच रिक्वेस्ट इन साइड योर नोट जे एस एप्लीकेशन सो बेसिकली इट ब्रिंग्स द फेच मॉड्यूल इन साइड योर नोट जे एस एप्लीकेशन सो यू कैन सी दैट इट इज अ वेरी पॉपुलर मॉड्यूल इट हैज कॉट ओवर फिफ्टीन मिलियन वीकली डाउनलोड्स एंड द कमांड इज प्रिटी सिंपल विच इज एन पी एम आई नोट फेच सो दिस इज अ ब्रांड न्यू नोट जे एस एप प्रोजेक्ट हेयर just execute npm init dash y so this will create the default package.json file with the default options now you just need to install this module which is npm i node dash fetch so basically this will install this module as a dependency inside your package.json file so this has successfully installed it now we just need to open the visual studio code text editor inside our folder here which is code dash so basically if i open this you will find a package.json file listed inside your project this is a dependency that we have installed which is node fetch and now in order to use this we will first of all create the entry point of our project which is index.js and here we just need to get the dependency which is node fetch we need to require it first of all node fetch so after that we just need to make a simple fetch request we can just make a simple fetch request by using a particular url let's suppose let's suppose i name it as fetch here to better understand and now to make a simple get request by using fetch we can just use fetch and here we just need to pass the url which is https api dot uh, github dot com slash users and after that it returns a promise we need to handle this by dot then so this will return a response we first of all need to convert that response to json and again we just need to convert this response or we can just console log it console log response and now basically if i run the application which is node indexed js so basically you will see that it will return this json response to me inside our console here so this is the simplest of ways by which you can just use your fetch call inside your node js application with the help of this node fetch module so this is a very simple get request that we have made here uh we can even test out various apis let's suppose we need to make a post request let's suppose a simple post request so i can just copy paste the example here so basically this is a post request this is the url to which we are making the post request and here we just need to provide a option here inside curly brackets method is equal to post and here we just need to provide the data which is there inside the body parameter a is equal to 1 after that we again get the data by promise which is dot then we convert it to json and then we console log it and now basically let me just comment the first request and now if i once again run this so you will see that it it has successfully made a post request to this route and it has returned this json response to us and these are the headers which are there and this is a url that it has made this post request to so in this way you can just make a simple post request as well using this module which is node fetch and let me now show one other example you can even post with json here as well so if you want to make a post request with the json data you can just make it like this let me just copy paste the example so first of all we have made this json object here a is equal to 1 and then we are making this post request to this route method is post 
body we are converting this json to string by using this stringify method and we are passing this json object and then we are providing a header which is content type which is application slash json and now basically if i run this example so now it will once again make a post request you can see that now in this case the content type is equal to application slash json and the data is returned to us that is a is equal to one so in this way you can just make a post request using the json data inside this node fetch let me have more example here let's suppose you only want to return the html of a website so this is an example of that let me just show you so basically we are targeting this github.com website and we only need the html code here html source code so basically now if i run this example you will see that it will return the source code of github.com the html source code you can see that so this is all the html source code that you see on github.com if you right click and uh, let me just show you what is it is returning so if you go to github.com right click view page source so basically this will return all this html source code which is there on that site so if you match it you will see all the source code so the next example if you want to make if you want to download image using this module you can even do do that stuff as, as well so if i just drag down here you can see that this is the way by which you can just download an image if i copy paste the example so here you need to provide the url to which whichever url that you want to download image from let me just go to my website coding com and here i will be copy pasting the image address so this is a profile pic so just wait it is loading so just wait it is loading here so so this is the image you can see that it is let me just see once again refresh it I think that it has it hasn't loaded so what I can do here is that I can go to api dot unsplash dot com and uh, let me just here generate random photo by unsplash api let me just see the url to generate yes this is a url you need to copy this url so so basically this will be generating a random photograph so you can see that so here i can just copy paste this url and here i can just change the name to random dot png so they basically this will create this random dot png inside my root directory once i execute this node.js script so now if i run node index.js so on left hand side you will see that it will create this uh, random dot png image So it is saying oh sorry we haven't imported the file system module so just import it require fs so once again if i execute it you will see it will create this random.png it has successfully downloaded this image here so in this way you can even download images from a specific url inside 
node fetch module so thanks so much guys for watching this video if you like this video then please hit the like button subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next video